Hi, I'm Lisa from Lori's Country Cottage. Welcome to How Tuesday. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Quilt Smart foundations to make a bag. My video shows the midi bag. That's the me medium size. The large bag is the Mondo, and the small bag is the bitty bag. Stay tuned, I'll show you how it works. Here are the supplies you'll need to make your midi bag. First, your pattern comes with enough foundation to make two bags. You'll also need fabric for the lining, fusible fleece, fabric for your two and a half inch squares, I used a charm pack, matching or contrasting thread, and an applique pressing sheet. I cut my charm pack, which are five inch squares, into two and a half inch squares. I pulled the right number of squares out and divided them into four piles, one for each side of the bag. Cut out your four panels and two handles on the cutting lines. Lay your four panels, fusible, side up on your ironing surface. Using the placement lines, place your two and a half inch squares on the panels. Here are my first two, and here are my other two. Put your applique pressing sheet on top and press. There's no need to use steam as it doesn't go through the pressing sheet. Check that everything is pressed well. I had to go back and do a few more spots a second time. Here are my four pressed panels. Fold your panel on the fold line and stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Stitch all the short rows. Snip within the seam allowance so your rows can be pressed in opposite directions. Press the rows in the direction of the arrows. They'll alternate so that seams can nest in the next step. Press from the back. If you want to press again from the front, be sure to use your applique pressing sheet. Now sew your long rows together with a quarter inch seam allowance again. Take time to nest your seams. Press the long seams in the direction of the arrow. Be sure to press from the back. Locate the double dots and triple dots on your four panels. There will be two of each. Lay one double dot and one triple dot panel right side up and horizontal. Now take the corresponding panel with the matching dots and lay it right side down and vertical. Stitch as indicated in the pattern. Press toward the vertical strip. Now locate the four bottom corners on the panels. Turn them right side up. Then flip them right sides together, matching the bottom corners, and stitch. Press the seam flat, as indicated in the instructions. Fold the top vertical panel along the diagonal line on the back. Here's a close-up of the line. Pin or clip together and then stitch. This is what it looks like after you've stitched. Continue to sew the other three panels in the same manner. Here's what it looks like with all four seams sewn. Press the seams away from the top point. It's clearly marked on the foundation. Now, fuse the handle foundation to one handle piece. Place the second handle right side together with it and stitch the two long sides. Turn it right side out and give it a good press. Pin the handles to the points. Be sure that you don't twist them. Stitch along the handle stitching line. Take your lining pieces and stitch your lining in the same manner that you use to make the bag. Leave a four inch hole in one of the seams for turning later. Now, turn your bag right side out. Leave your lining wrong side out. Put your bag inside the lining, right sides should be together. Pin or clip along the top edge, matching your seams and points. Stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance and stitch across your handles. Clip inside the corners. 
find the hole you left in the lining and pull your bag right side out. Press along the top edge, including across the handles. Stitch around the top of your bag. I used about an eighth inch seam allowance. Here's a picture of the finished bag. Thanks for joining me to learn how to make the foundation purse from Quiltsmark. So I made the midi bag. Here's my Mondo bag. On my Mondo bag, I added a keychain hook. And here's the bitty bag. They all use two and a half inch squares. So if you've got leftovers, you can make another bag. When you buy the Mondo bag, you get enough foundation to make one bag. But for the midi and the bitty bag, you get enough foundations to make two bags. And once you have the pattern, you don't need to buy the pattern again. We sell the foundations separately, all packaged up for you. I hope you'll take some time to make yourself a quilt smart bag, whether it's the Mondo, the midi, or the bitty bag. Thanks for joining me.